What's going on guys, Arrow here, and guys, I'm sure that by now you've all seen the trailer for the next new system from Nintendo, which we know is going to be called the Nintendo Switch, and I think that the Nintendo Switch is actually going to be one of the best systems that Nintendo has created in a long time. And so in this video, I'm going to be talking to you guys about how I think that the Nintendo Switch will be able to wreck the competition of Xbox and PlayStation. And so now before we get started, please keep in mind that everything I talk about in this video is just my thoughts on how I think that the Nintendo Switch will be really successful. Obviously, we don't know what's going to happen, but these are all just my thoughts. And so if you have different thoughts on how you think that the Nintendo Switch is going to play out when it comes out, definitely comment them down below and I'll be sure to reply to you guys and see what you have to say. But yeah, let's get started. So the first thing I really want to talk with you guys about is just how popular the Nintendo Switch is. I mean, we only have a reveal trailer to go off of right here, but we know that the Nintendo Switch reveal trailer was posted two weeks ago and this trailer already has has 19 million plus views and that's a pretty big thing I mean to seeing that this many people are already interested in viewing this that's a pretty good sign right there obviously I'm not saying that 19 million people are you know since 19 million people saw the reveal trailer that 19 million people are gonna go out and buy it I'm just saying that you know it's a good sign that Nintendo is getting a lot of people from g the gaming community and just a lot of people who are interested to seeing that reveal trailer and I mean considering how this video has only been posted two weeks ago and it's already already the most popular video on Nintendo's entire channel, that's a pretty good sign. And now another thing I want to talk about is just the concept of the Nintendo Switch itself. If you're a hardcore Nintendo fan, then you know that every time a new generation of Nintendo or just a new generation of gaming comes out, that you always have to spend your money on two systems to get the full Nintendo experience. You always have to spend your money on a handheld and then have to spend your money on a home console. I mean, if I wanted to play like Pokemon, I'd always have to go out and buy myself a handheld. But then if I wanted to play Smash Bros, I'd have to go out and buy myself a home console and so the whole point of the Nintendo Switch is going to be so that you're going to be able to play your games on the go and at home being able to combine both of these pillars of a handheld experience and a home console experience and I think that that's a great idea and especially for Nintendo to do this in 2017 I think that the time is right for them to do this they're not jumping ahead like if this came out in 2011 or something like that I don't feel like it would have been right I think the technology is good now with you know tablets and stuff always having like 720p resolution at the minimum now you know 60 fps and stuff like that i think the perfect time for nintendo to create a home console and hybrid and handheld hybrid experience is right now and so that's a definitely a good thing right there and i think that you know that's going to be a major selling point for the system right away i mean nintendo can sell that like you know you will be able to play all your nintendo ips now on this one system and i think even like the pokemon uh president said like that they are going to be making games for the nintendo switch and so that's a good sign i don't know if they mean like main series Pokemon games like Pokemon Sun and Moon or like the next generation of Pokemon or just spin-off titles like Pokemon Tournament or like Pokemon Battle Revolution or something like that. But either way, having all of the Nintendo IPs on one system is definitely a major selling point. Now, you can say, you know, you can play your Animal Crossing, you can play your Pokemon, you can play your Mario, your Zelda, all of that on one convenient system and that's going to be a big selling point right there for Nintendo and I think that that's a really good thing. Also, if you guys take a look at this graph right here, you can see that a lot of Nintendo home consoles haven't been doing so well, and pretty much every single Nintendo home console has been decreasing over time, except for the Wii. And now the only reason I'm saying that the Wii sold really high was because of how Nintendo was able to market the system really well. I think that, you know, by, you know, seeing all those advertisements, you guys saw them, you know, they were always advertising it towards, like, old people and, like, all the grandmas and stuff that you're able to, like, get up and move and play, and, you know, it was like a really revolutionary system you know you know because you were able to it was the first system ever where you could use motion controls and that was just something that was so different in video gaming and it was something that really worked out for Nintendo and that's why I like Nintendo I think it's really good because they always come up with a system that has some really unique features with it you know it's always something new that they try they always try some type of innovation and you know sometimes it works out for them like with the motion controls on the Wii you know it was a really big seller you know being able to hold a controller like a base 
baseball bat and actually swing it was something that was revolutionary and it was just so cool that that's why everybody wanted a Wii and on for Christmas and it was on their wish list and that's why it was really successful and you know being able for them to come out with things like the Wii Fit and stuff like that showing people who wanted to lose weight and stuff that you can do that with playing a video game that's why I think that the Wii was so successful and you know obviously Nintendo tried something new with the Wii U having like a second screen experience and you know them saying like that's how you will play next obviously it didn't work out for them and you know even though it didn't work out I still like that Nintendo tried something new with the Wii U I think it was still definitely a great system you know I still play my Wii U I love playing Splatoon Smash Bros and all those fun games but you know I just like how Nintendo tries something new you know it's not like you know Microsoft and Sony where they just come up with the same system you know bump up the specs a little bit change up the controller and you know just sell it again as a brand new system i like how nintendo always tries to innovate things and that's what the switch is doing too but the cool thing about the nintendo switch is it doesn't have any gimmicks like all of the nintendo switch or not all of the nintendo switch all of the nintendo home consoles have had some type of gimmick like i said with the wii u having a second screen with uh the wii having motion controls it doesn't look like the nintendo switch is going to have any type of gimmick in fact being able to play your games on the go is the gimmick for the nintendo switch that's like how it's going to be so different that's the different thing and that's not something that's going to change anything for developers and that's why i think that the nintendo switch is going to be so uh powerful and why it's going to be able to wreck the competition because third parties always don't like developing for nintendo because they have to work around having you know their differences on the nintendo system for example like when the wii u came out i know how a lot of people say that developers didn't develop for it because you know the system wasn't selling that well and while i do think that that's a factor of why developers didn't want to develop for the wii u i think another big reason is because of that gamepad you know they would always have to consider like okay now we have two screens to work with and a home console game what do we have to do so that we can you know use both screens at the same time and have some type of purpose and you know a lot of developers just didn't want to get into that type of stuff and that's why they didn't develop for the wii u but the nintendo switch is not like that at all it's still a single screen experience they confirmed that you know it's still a single screen experience you're going to be able to play all your games but it looks like it's going to be a lot of fun because it's still a traditional you know gaming experience you still have your abx and y buttons you still have a d-pad and you still have a joystick and that's why it's going to be easy for third-party developers because it's just like developing a normal game and the only thing i'm a little worried about for the nintendo switch is the fact that it's using cartridges and the only reason i'm saying that is because that's like the one thing that's a little different from you know the traditional other consoles that are out there and so hopefully nintendo can find a way to make it easy for you know third parties to being able to transfer their games from you know the optical disc thing to you know the cartridges so that they can be used on the nintendo switch i think that that's the only thing that i'm a little worried about if they can get that settled i think that this is going to be a great system you know if nintendo can find a really good easy way an efficient way for developers to take all of the games and things that they've made on their optical disc drive and transform it or transport it over onto a cartridge and if they can make that process is seamless and easy then there's no way that this system is not going to be able to get third party support because there's no type no gimmicks like that it's a really easy thing to do and if they can transfer it to cartridges really easily this system is going to be really really good and so yeah there you guys have it i think that the nintendo switch is going to be a great system i think it definitely has the capability to being able to wreck the competition you know being able to have a portable device being able to have all your nintendo ips in this one place and if they can make it easy for third party developers developers to you know bring over their games from the disc over to the cartridge in an easy way then it's going to be a really good system and i think that it's going to be a system that nintendo has hoped for and i really hope that it does help them i really do want to see nintendo be successful and I think it has a lot of potential, you know, especially if they can make the price for the system good as well. You know, if they can make it a decent price like what they did with the Wii and have an affordable price and make people being able to buy it, then this system is definitely going to be a really powerful system. And it's definitely going to be one that I think has a lot of potential. And so, yeah, there you guys go. If you guys enjoyed this video, pl be, please be sure to click that like button. It really does help me out. Definitely leave me your comments down below on how you think that the Nintendo Switch is going to do. Do you guys think it has a lot of potential to being a really good system? system do you guys think it's not going to be that good definitely let me know what you guys think for the nintendo switch and as always if you guys are hyped for pokemon if you're hyped for nintendo hype for the nintendo switch and just want more nintendo content on this channel then be sure to subscribe thank you so much for watching